So again, if we have a full IP version six address, it may look something like So we need eight sections, right? All right, so if that was an IP version six address, all right, I got my eight sections, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They are separated by colons there, okay? And each number or digit here can remember be A through F or zero through nine, okay? So remember my first rule of condensing an address is I can, remove leading zeros in each section. Okay, so remove my leading zeros. All right, so to remove my leading zeros here, I'm going to look section by section and remove all the ones until I get to a non-zero non digit. So for instance, here, I can take these three and cross those out. I can take these three and cross those out. I can take these three and cross those out. Can't do anything there because these are not leading zeros. I can look at this one here, cross that one out because it starts with it. Same thing here. All right, can't do anything with these other zeros because they're not leading means starting that section with it. And I can cross those out right there. So that leaves me, if I bring this address down, if I rewrite it, F E one zero. So I couldn't do anything to that section. This one, I'm only left with a one. This one, I'm only left with a zero. This one, I'm only left with a zero. This one, I'm left with two zero one zero. This one, I'm left with a B zero. This one, I'm left with one zero one. This one, I'm left with two zero. Okay, so I got rid of all the zeros that start each section. Now you can get rid of up to three that lead into a section, but you have to leave at least one digit there. Um, and that's why I like to do this in two steps because the next one is when you can get rid of all your back-to-back -back zeros. And you'll see in future examples too, why that's the case. So the second one is replace back to back sections of all zeros with a double colon, okay? So let's look at each section that may have been all zeros. So because I know here that I removed the first leading three zeros and there's only one zero left, I know that's a section of all zeros, right? Of course I can just look there, but if I was just presented with this even, I know that's an all zero section. I know that's an all zero section, right? So I can rewrite this as F E one zero colon one colon colon. Okay, so I replace those two sections here because they were all zeros with just a colon colon. Okay, and then two zero one zero a, B, zero, one, zero, one, two, zero. All right, so that would be my final condensed address right here. All right, now you should be able to even look at this and go back to that. So let's look at how we would do that. Of course, we do kind of know the answer there, but we'll do some more examples of both. So here, if we've got that, right, let's say we go the other direction. So this is condensed. Okay, now let's go the other direction. Let's uncondense it, right? So
So if we looked at that FE10 is just, is what it is. There's four digits there. Then remember, that's the key. Remember, there's four digits in each one. So if you're, if you're uncondensing the address, then you should uh, see that, right? So FE10, all right? Here I got my section of just a one. So if I know that my rules are you can remove leading zeros or replace back-to-back -back sections of all zeros with a double colon, then this should be zero, 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 one. Because I know there should be four digits there, but I've only got one digit, okay? So let's attack each section. I'm gonna kind of underline it as we go. The next one I see is a double colon. So what does that mean? That means there are back-to-back -back sections of all zeros. Now, how many sections of back-to-back -back zeros do I have? Well, let's look here. I know there should be eight sections total, right? Separated by colon. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six represented here with actual numbers. So that means I should be missing two sections here, okay? If there should be eight, and I've only got six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that means there are two sections of all back-to-back -back zeros here. So you have to use what you know, okay? So we should know that there are eight sections total. I am seeing a double colon here. I've only got six, so that means they, they represented two sections of back-to-back -back zeros here. Because remember, it could be three or four sections, but you can only do that once in an address. Then 2010, all four digits were there. Okay, this one says AB0. So that means there's only three digits. So I know I'm missing a leading zero there, zero AB0. Zero. Then this one is missing a leading zero because there's only three digits there. So 0101. Zero, zero, one. And then lastly, I've only got two digits there. So that means there must be two leading zeros there. So this is my full. IP version six address. Again, I gave us that one, but we should be able to go from a condensed back the other direction as well. All right, so our example, we've got a full IP version six address, AC1024AF colon 0002 colon 0000 colon 0000 colon 0000 colon CA23 colon 0000. So our first approach here to condensing this address, remember, our first rule here is remove leading zeros in each section. All right, so let's approach it section by section. Do I have any leading zeros here in AC10? No. So I'm just going to bring it down here as AC10. Do I have any leading zeros here in 24AF? No. So I'm gonna just bring it down as 24AF. Okay. What about this one? Uh, 0002. Yes, I do have leading zeros here. And I'm going to remove that block of leading zeros there. Okay, I can remove all of them except for the last digit, even if that last digit is a zero. So I'm going to just put a two. So I get rid of all three of those first zeros there. All right, this one, next section, I'm going to get rid of those first three zeros because it starts that section with them. So I'm just going to bring down a zero only. And again, I'll show you why I do this in two steps. Same thing here all those leading zeros right there, I can get rid of and bring it down as just a zero. Okay, my next one, same thing, get rid of those first three zeros and bring this down as just a zero. Next one, I don't have any leading zeros there, so I can't do anything but bring it down just as it is. C A two three. And then the last one again, I've got some more leading zeros. So I can remove those there. So I just bring down a 
zero. So I've got my eight sections still, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I didn't remove any sections. I only looked at the leading zeros in each section. Okay, so I removed them, but you gotta leave a digit there, at least the, the last digit, okay? So if I do one more step, I can replace back to back or more than that. Like if there was three sections or four sections, but they were back to back, I could do that. Sections of all zeros with a double colon. Okay, so let's attack that and look at each section. So do I have back-to-back -back sections here of all zeros? No, so I'm just gonna bring that down as AC10, two, four, A, F. So bringing this down again, so nothing there. The next section is a two, so no zeros involved there. Now these next three, Okay, remember, if we just remove the leading zeros in these sections, then you know these are all zero sections. This one should be all zeros because I removed three digits from here, which means they were all zeros. And if I'm left with just a zero, that means that section was four zeros. This one, same thing. That one, same thing. If I'm left with just a zero here, there should be four digits. I've only got one. That means the leading zeros were removed. So that means there is one, two, three sections of back to back to back, all zeros. So I can replace this with a double colon. So when I bring that down, there's just gonna be two colons between the two and that. So I'm gonna go from the two to here to CA23, but I'm just gonna leave a double colon there. So CA23, all right. Now, this last section is just a single section of a zero. So I'm just gonna bring that down as zero, okay? There's no way I can replace that with a double colon or anything because again, it would have to have back-to-back -back multiple sections of all zeros. Also, you can only do this one time in an address. So you should never see double colons more than once in an address. And I'll show you why now. So this is our condensed address. Okay. Now, if we go the other direction where we're uncondensing it basically, all right, so AC10 comes down as just that, 24AF comes down as just that. Let me put we're uncondensing. Okay, then if we look at, so we got those two taken care of, let's look at that one. There's only a two left. So that means that somebody removed all the leading zeros. So that one should be 0, 0, 0, 0002 because we've only got one digit here. We know for a full address that should be four digits total. Okay, so we have to make it where it's four digits. If we look here, we've got a section of double zeros, or sorry, double colons. So if we know we've got one, two, three, four five sections that are represented by some type of digit here still, even in my condensed address, I should have eight sections total in a full IP version six address. So that means there are three sections that are missing here are represented by that double colon. Okay, that's why you can only do it once in an address. And I'll show you another specific example on that in a second. But if you had it twice, you wouldn't be able to tell which section had how many zeros. So you can only do this once because again, I have five sections here that are represented with a letter or number, but here I've got a double colon. So if there's only five showing, that must mean there's three hidden here if you wanna look at it that way. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So those three sections are now represented there of all zeros, okay? Then CA23, can't do anything with that. That wasn't condensed at all. And then this last one here, I've only got one zero, but that means somebody removed all the leading zeros. So in a full address, it should be zero, 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 zero.
So this is my full IP version six address. All right. So if we had a IP version six full address of All right, so eight sections, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I've got that address, that's all zeros, all right? Now, step one says remove my leading zeros. So if I take this step by step and look here, each one of these has three leading zeros to start with. So I can cross out every single section of those three zeros, and then I get left with just one zero in each section. Okay, so I removed my leading zeros, so I just get left with one zero. Now, because I know that I removed these and they were all zeros each section, then I can replace step two I can replace it with a double colon. Okay, so what happens is we got there. Now, my answer is literally going to be just a double colon. That is it. So if you have a full IP version six address of all zeros, your answer will actually be just a double colon. That is your condensed IP version six version of that address. Okay, now, if you wanna go back the other direction again, um, you know that you should have eight sections total. You have no sections total with a double colon. So if I uncondense this, I hope that's the word uncondensed. I'm not sure, but I'm not, we're not doing English. We're doing uh, subnetting. So, <laughs> um, so anyway, if you uncondense here, you should have eight sections total there. You have zero. So you know there it is. One, two, three, four. Right back to your full IP version six address because you have zero sections there and you know it should be eight. So you know not only do they remove the leading zeros there, but they replaced every section because they are in sequential order back to back to back to back with no interruptions, right? Even if you have a small interruption of a section with a one here or something, you can't do the double colon. But if all of it is zero, then you can do a double colon for that whole address. All right. So in this one, remember step one, we are going to Remove leading zeros. And I like doing it in the two steps. Again, if you get very good at this, you can do both steps at one time, but I'm just gonna kind of go through it like this so we don't make any mistakes. Um, so again, we're gonna remove the leading zeros from each one of my sections. But we are gonna leave that far right digit though or however many digits are after the zero. So we bring this down as CA23, zero, 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 one, 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 zero, zero, two, three. Okay, so we remove the leading zeros from there as well. Now, the next step is 
replace back to back sections of all zeros with a double colon. Okay, so to do that, we look at this section and look, we have two sections of back-to-back -back zeros in this one, but remember you can only have one double colon per address, okay? We'll put like 10 uh, exclamation points after that, all right? You can only do it once, and here's why. Well, when we reverse engineer it, you'll see. So if we bring this down, we got CA23, okay? We can replace this with a double colon. So we're gonna do that here, right? So we replace it with a double colon. Now my next one is just one, 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 one. That one I have to leave as zero and zero. I can't replace that one with a double colon, okay? The reason being, when you try to reverse engineer this, remember we said you can look at it and say, hey, I've got one, two, three, four, five sections now. So I know that one has to be three sections missing because I should have eight sections total. So if I've got one, two, three, four, five with numbers, I know three sections of back-to-back -back zeros go there. Now, if I would have did two double colons, all right, then I would be left with three sections and I wouldn't know what combination. I know I'm missing five, right? If I'm left with three sections and here, I'm gonna put it wrong way to right and I'll write it in uh, red here. CA23, one, 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 two, three. Okay, so this is wrong, 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 okay? So I wouldn't know, should it be three sections? So if I got three sections here, I know I'm missing five. Should I have three sections of zeros here and two sections there? Should I have one section of, or you couldn't have one, but you gotta have at least two. So should I have two there and three sections there or three sections there and two sections of all zeros there, right? So I cannot write it like that. You can only do this once per address, okay? So if you've got another section of back-to-back -back zeros, you can remove the leading, but you can't have it where there are two double colons in one address, all right? So if I wanna reverse engineer that back to our full address, CA23, Again, I know there's one, two, three, four, five sections here. So I got three hidden. So one, two, three of my hidden sections. I just bring all my ones down. All right. I know that there is only one zero in this. So it must mean I moved the, removed the leading zeros here. Same thing here. And I've only got two digits there, so it must mean there are two zeros to start that section. So now I'm back to my full IP version six address, okay? So again, if I had wrote it like this, I wouldn't know how many zeros were in each section. So I can only do it once so I can know how to reverse engineer that.